This is the Rocat Magma gaming keyboard. So this keyboard is very different from most gaming keyboards, or at least what people are kind of seeking after and what's popular. This thing is a silent membrane keyboard. It's not going to be a mechanical keyboard that has like uh, switches built into every key. This is going to be more of a rubberized finish kind of keyboard. This keyboard's MSRP is going to be roughly $60 and typically mechanical keyboards that's like the starter price not a bad deal even though it's not a mechanical this thing does have a lot of things going for it and before we get into it a quick word from the sponsor of this video sparkify sparkify is a giveaway tool that pulls in giveaways from all over the internet whether it be instagram twitter or random companies websites sparkify is going to find giveaways from all over the internet bring them into one place and gives you the opportunity to cherry pick your favorite giveaways. So go ahead and visit sparkify.co, create your free account and start winning some dope prizes. So with this keyboard, I would say there's probably two main reasons I would consider getting this keyboard. The first one's going to be that it looks really cool with this massive RGB backlight plate. Like half of the keyboard is going to be glowing with this white plate and it's going to be really ambient. And their slogan with this one is kind of let there be light. There's definitely a lot of light here and you can adjust the brightness by default without the, using the software. There's three different settings and the way you uh, control the light is by holding the function key and then pushing the up and down arrow key while holding the function button. And then that kind of starts with low, medium, high, and then off. And then they also have their little environmental ecosystem software. I think it's called the Amio, Imeo. That's basically a software feature that connects various ROCAT devices together and the light kind of plays together. So let's say you wanted like a Christmas theme going between your keyboard, your headset, and your mouse. You can use the software and kind of connect them together and they can kind of rotate between three different products. So that's really cool if you kind of have like a theme going for your gaming setup. And then the other main selling point with this keyboard is gonna be the silence aspect of it, which is when you actually type on the keyboard, it's gonna be really, really quiet. So here's a quick little typing test for you guys. So obviously the silence has its benefits. If you're doing some late night gaming or maybe use this thing in an office environment, it's gonna be really nice and you're not gonna be distracting other people. I would say a semi high selling point with this keyboard is also this little shift modifier key. It's not the shift key, it's actually the caps lock. And if you hold it, it basically acts like a key bind. So if you hold shift and press like one, two or three, it's different than pressing one, two or three without holding the shift key or the caps lock key. I don't know why they call it the shift, I guess, cause you're like shifting modes, but basically you're adding additional keys to your keyboard by having a modifier key. Now the material and build quality of this keyboard overall, I would say, I mean, let me, I'll be real here, it's not that good. It's pretty like plastic and basic feeling. There's nothing really special going on here as much as, you know, I love the Rocat brand, but this is one of their more budget keyboards. And of course, with a more budget price, you're gonna have a more budget build. Don't get me wrong, this thing does feel a lot better than a lot of other plastic keyboards out there. But overall, when you get this thing, don't expect this thing to feel like some tank bulletproof type thing. This thing is gonna be more on the cheap side and you're gonna be able to feel that. Now the keycaps on the other hand, they do feel higher quality. They have like this kind of rubberized grippy feel to them and they feel very nice compared to the keyboard itself. The keyboard is kind of like this uh, matte finished plastic and the keys have like this kind of, I guess, rubberized feel to them. Now the keyboard also comes with a wrist rest, which is also made of plastic, same as the keyboard material. This wrist rest is going to be about one fourth of an inch in height and it's going to give you a more ergonomic typing experience. Now, if you're not a fan of wrist rests, you don't have to use this thing. You can use the keyboard without it and it's going to feel just fine. But that extra one fourth of an inch is definitely going to make it more comfortable if you're gaming or using the computer for long periods of time. Now the cable on this keyboard does attach to the center back here. I know a lot of people who are into gaming keyboards like to mod their cables. They like to get braided ones, the curly ones. Uh, this is a fairly basic cable. It's just like uh, the uh, silicone wrapping around it and there's nothing really special about it and it's not detachable. So it's fixed onto here. So if it breaks or rips, you're gonna have to either get a new keyboard or kind of solder it on yourself. And then the cable does connect via a regular USB 
cable, so no USB-C here. So make sure on your computer you have a USB slot available. Key wobble is not bad on this thing at all. I feel like these keys are quite like built into the little membrane switches that they have here. So if you like actually grab your finger and kind of shake the keys, there's not much wobble going on, which I'm a huge fan of this because sometimes I, well, usually when I'm using a keyboard, I like to rest my fingers on the keys. And it feels nice when the keys aren't kind of just like slightly shifting left and right with your fingers on them. It gives it that more high quality feel. And if we go ahead and look at the back of this keyboard, you can see that it has like this kind of stripe layout, which is kind of cool looking. You know, you don't really look at the back of your keyboard, but it does look kind of give me that like retro Nintendo vibes. I wanted to focus in on the legs here. And basically there's two legs that prop the keyboard up that are gonna make it even more ergonomic. As you can see right there, there's just two of them that kind of flap in and out. And the legs also have grips on the back of them. So they're gonna, the keyboard's gonna be much more stationary as you're typing. And then this is gonna be a full size keyboard, which basically means it's gonna have the number pad, the regular keyboard, and then the middle piece here with the arrow keys. And then this is gonna be the box for the keyboard. Really nice, sleek, and clean. So this is gonna be a pretty nice gift, especially for someone who doesn't really have a good keyboard and wants to get something more kind of gamerish. This is gonna be really cool. So if you're interested, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description pointing to Amazon, or you can get it off their website as well. So with all that being said, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to leave your comments down below and leave a like. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.